economy has a long way to recover from what's been called the Great Recession of 2008. At the heart of the meltdown was the subprime mortgage crisis that caused more than a million Americans to lose their homes and brought Wall Street to its knees. A new documentary that's opening today in New York takes on the subprime collapse, tracking its roots on Wall Street and Washington and profiling some of its victims, mainly African-American families who lost their homes. American Casino is directed by Leslie Coburn, who wrote and produced the documentary with her husband, journalist and author Andrew Coburn. They join us today in our our firehouse studio, but we first will turn to an excerpt of the film, which begins by looking at how deregulation of the financial sector laid the groundwork for the economic meltdown. This is American Casino. To understand why this is like a gambling casino, you have to understand what's at stake here. On a December evening, December 15th of 2000, around 7 o'clock, Phil Graham, Republican Senator of Texas, then chair of the Senate Finance Committee walked to the floor of the Senate and introduced a 262-page bill as a writer to the 11,000-page appropriation bill, which excluded from regulation the financial instruments that are probably most at the heart of the present meltdown. He not only excluded them from all federal regulation, but he excluded them from state regulation as well, which is important because these instruments could be viewed to be gambling instruments where you're betting on whether people will or will not pay off their loans. And he announced at the time that this measure would be a boon to the American economy and be a boon to Wall Street because they would be freed of any supervision in this regard. And that lack of supervision freed Wall Street to essentially shoot itself in both feet. I work for four companies on Wall Street. Three of them don't exist anymore. I don't think anything is really permanent in life. I mean, sure, my grandfather worked for the same company for you know 20 some odd years in the steel, steel mills of Pittsburgh, maybe 30 years, I don't know, but he worked for the same company his whole life. Nothing's permanent anymore. The stock market goes south, you know, banks going out of business. It's just the way people in America live. I don't think anything I've done propelled or inhibited it. I don't think, no. I don't feel any, any responsibility for, for this mess at all. It really started getting heated in uh, 2004, 2005. Mortgage rates kept dropping for prime mortgages, you know, the, the ones that, that most people get. And that made the others much more valuable because they offered much more yield. When you have that much cash flow that's extra, uh, you can siphon off a whole lot more fees. And that, and that is, you know, it's all about money. Subprime, in 2005 and 2006, the issuance was about $800 billion total. It's a river of cash. $800 billion it will buy a lot of houses and, and do a lot of things. And you can tap into that. Your fees on that might be 4%. Okay, 4% of uh, $32 billion. If there's more demand for homes and more people securitizing mortgages, um, we would sell more bonds. And it could be a billion to two billion to five billion, you know, to 10 billion a month. This is a Lehman Brothers bond done in early 2006. If you look here, you can tell how many uh, mortgages are delinquent 60 days or delinquent more than 90 days, how many, how much money they've already lost and how much real estate they've already taken back. That's in foreclosure. That's real estate they've already taken back and not sold yet. As you can see, that you know this this is not going well. They've got 800 million, and uh, you know they've got 31 uh, percent. It's more than 90 days delinquent. Dr. Greenspan, you had an ideology. You had a belief that. Um, 
that free, competitive, and this is your, your statement. I do have an ideology. My judgment is that free, competitive markets are by far the unrivaled way to organize economies. We've tried regulation, none meaningfully worked. That was your quote. You had the authority to prevent irresponsible lending practices that led to the subprime mortgage crisis. You were advised to do so by many others. And now our whole economy is paying its price. Do you feel that your ideology pushed you to make decisions that you wish you had not made? Well, remember that what an ideology is is a conceptual framework with the way people deal with reality. Everyone has one. You have to, you, to exist, you need an ideology. The question is whether it is accurate or not. And what I'm saying to you is, yes, I found a flaw. I don't know how significant or permanent it is, but I've been very distressed by that fact. But if I may, may I just finish an answer to the, the question previously? You, you found a flaw in a the flaw, reality? A flaw in the model that I perceived is the critical functioning structure that defines how the world works, so to speak. In other words, you found that your, your view of the world, your ideology, was not right. It that, was not that, working. That is, it had a, that, precisely. No, I, that's precisely the reason I was shocked, because I have been going for 40 years or more with very considerable evidence that it was working exceptionally well. I want to thank you on behalf of the committee. Alan Greenspan was the foremost proponent of these derivative products, credit derivatives, which are now at the heart of the meltdown, of them being not subject to regulation. And his theory was as follows, that he believed these instruments afforded banks the ability to move risk out to the economy. In other words, to exchange their risk of making mortgages and having to worry whether people would pay the mortgages and creating financial products that would invite the rest of the financial world to participate in that risk. His theory was, well, this isn't making matters worse, it's making matters better because banks, when they make all these mortgages, won't be subject to forfeitures. Unfortunately, what we have seen in our most recent history of this credit crisis is, yes, it spread the risk through the economy and made everybody subject to that risk, not just the banks. The banks got so cocky because they thought they were passing the risk off that the discipline of being worried about whether somebody could pay their mortgage disappeared. And they made as many mortgages as they could make they weren't interested in whether the loans would be paid back. That was somebody else's problem, translated through these credit derivatives and other unregulated instruments. They just wanted to do the transactions, make as many of these mortgages as they could. Every time they signed somebody up for a mortgage, they brought huge amounts of money in, and that's the way they profited. That was Michael Greenberger, the former director for trading and markets at the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, in an excerpt from the film American Casino. It's opening today in New York, the film directed by Leslie Coburn, who co-produced it with her husband, Andrew Coburn. They're joining us here in our Firehouse studio. It's nice to have you in New York. Thank you. Thank um, you. That quote, Leslie, of Alan Greenspan is quite amazing, as be he's being challenged by Henry Waxman. Yes. Well, I, when people hear it, they just find it extraordinary that this man could reduce the, the collapse of, of uh, several American cities in terms of, you know, the, the millions of foreclosures, that he could reduce it to um, saying that it was a flaw in the model. Um, that he had believed in uh, for 40 years. Yes. And that it worked very well for 40 years. So he was just surprised that there was this flaw in the model. I mean, taking no responsibility whatsoever for what's happened. And yet it was Alan Greenspan who very clearly uh, was the biggest advocate in Washington for what's called spreading the risk, i.e., that the banks would pass on the risk um, to all the rest of us, which is exactly what's happened. And Alan Greenspan thought that was a great idea.